I'm holding in my hands what I would consider to be the best ready to fly small park flyer airplane that the world has to offer. There are a lot of ready to fly trainers and some of them are bigger and cost a lot more and for some reasons can be better. But if you are new to flying and you really wanna get out and try flying for the very first time, I highly recommend an airplane that comes in one piece in the box. You have to do nothing other than charge the little battery that is included with the USB charger and then turn it on and fly it. So this airplane belongs in our collection for a reason. Not only is it a great beginner airplane, but it's super fun to fly. And it's been a while since it's been on the channel, probably when it was released maybe. So I thought it was time to show you guys again. And hey, with, I know, I know Christmas is kind of far away, but be thinking about these things. If there's birthday, birthdays and you know, Christmas is coming. This is gonna be out of stock around Christmas time. I know it, so let's fly. It's just so easy to fly. You turn your transmitter on, you plug your battery into the airplane, and then give a half throttle, maybe three quarters throttle to be safe. Give it a little launch and then literally hands-free flying. You just use that right stick to bank the airplane around. There's hands-free. That's why Abby and I love this little airplane. It's so easy to fly has different flight modes too. So even if you're flying in the advanced flight mode right here where you can do rolls and loops, let's go for a loop. Let's say you get upside down and you panic, you can hit that shoulder button in the back and it will auto level the airplane really quickly. Let's show them that again, Abby. Go you know, upside down, I'm panicking and I just hit that shoulder button and it auto levels for me until I get my hands back on the controls. It flies so well in this safe mode that it has, which is auto level beginner mode and that's the mode it's in right now it is just very very easy to fly and even for someone like me that enjoys flying 120 mile an hour jets around and my night nice stunt planes and all kinds of crazy stuff i find absolute enjoyment in flying this because if i really want to i can fly in really small spaces like a baseball field or a soccer field but the best thing about this airplane is that it makes such a great first airplane for somebody. I think I have a little rudder mixed into that. See, it's turning a little, trimming that up. So <laughs> it sounds so sad. I am not a <laughs> human. <laughs> that was me trimming it because there was a lot of rudder in that for some reason. It's just a cool little plane. It is the best, cheapest, ready to fly. Can we do it? Oh, oh, no, <laughs> no, no. The airplane was like, I don't want to, I don't want to. It kind of turned around for a second. Let's try that again. Cheapest, ready to fly, small airplane. Now, in my opinion, I would say something like Touchdown. the larger Aeros. Now you have to nose it into the ground to celebrate. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the this is as much football as I've ever played in my entire <laughs> life, just so you guys know. Love it or hate it, that's the truth. <clears throat> oh, the, hold on. Bug on the lens. No, oh, that's okay. The larger, definitely the larger, ready to fly Aero Scout. It was supposed to go up to $250. Abby, did you know it's back down to $230? I think they were realizing that was maybe too steep of a price increase. The ready probably. to fly? Ready to fly one, yeah. So I it's thought two, it was under 200. Well, it used to be 199.99. Mm. And then remember that video we made where all the prices were going up? Yeah. They bumped it up to 250. Right. And that probably didn't encourage sales yeah, very well. They had a coupon code though. Well, they did, they did. And now it's but, just <clears> 230. Now it's 230. And so I think that's a good thing. So, you know, $230 for a bigger, more beginner, type of airplane if you want something that's bigger than this but if you just want a small park flyer that has four channels guys i mean if you count like the telemetry back to the radio then you kind of have five channels but if you want aileron control and a small airplane that looks like a real airplane this is it we got I mean, two of these because we, we like them so much and this one's mine because mine has the uh, paint missing on the bottom where I <laughs> forgot Velcro for my battery, so I taped the battery on. You remember that? I remember, this one's and nice. So this one's mine. 
I thought about charging both up and us both flying them again because that GoPro video was so much fun. But actually guys, the real reason I'm doing this video today of this airplane is that I'm really tired. Last night I was up super late because I had a Mountain Dew at 8 p.m. I don't know why you did that. It was really stupid because I was up until like 4.30 binge watching YouTube. You could have been so productive, but instead. I could have had a new big airplane built. You but, could have done some. But I still got to get some flying in my life. And this airplane right. is just so easy to get in the air. And so that's the real reason it's we're flying it on the channel today. It's not a good day unless there's RC in it. I agree. It's just such a calm, nice day to fly. And this is such a good, do you want to fly mine? I mean, sure. Let you fly it. Let me land it. and. I brought no, two no, batteries. No, just, oh, okay. I'll pass no, the controls mid-flight. That's that's how easy this one is to fly. There's Abby. Yes, have it in safe. It's in safe. That's right. Abby's at okay, the controls. Okay. Well, this is gonna end badly. Don't what don't don't thinking? destroy mine. <laughs> uh, that's as good as that. You got it. You got it. I really don't want to hurt your plane. Well, you, you can't. I mean, they're pretty indestructible. I mean, yes, you can break them. Like if you drive them, drive over it with a car or something, but. What do you, I, tons of people have this airplane, tons. Uh, and I think it's just worth noting that oh, it's, I can't do it. I'm scared. It, it's not just a one and done airplane. It's definitely one that, that we've held on to and we will continue to hold on to. This is the second version. In the, if I wasn't standing at an angle, I would do I would Right, the angle makes the it angle. hard. Depth perception yeah. is difficult. But it's, I'm flying low and close. You guys should be happy with that, right? Oh, yeah. Well, she's flying my airplane. That's why. Yeah. No, we are both skilled enough with this oh. airplane. We can just fly it like... <laughs> Great timing with the word uh, skilled. skilled. That's what happened. <laughs> well, I was flying that night airplane. I did recover, though. So. You recovered. You didn't crash. Remember, I was flying that night airplane, the uh, Night Timber X, and talked about Gary's crash, and then <laughs> I crashed. You never talk about crashing or someone crashing. Not while you're flying. No, no. There, nice loop. Okay, so the beeping that you're getting is the telemetry uh, telling you, hey, the battery's low. Now, here's the news, guys. This battery that I have in this plane is a really old battery, but I brought a brand new battery. If you want, we'll just fly another, another battery because although the reason that low voltage alarm went off is because I'd be juiced up <laughs> to do her loop and then when she pulled back off the throttle the voltimeter on board just said oh okay well there's actually more juice in there because you're not flying full throttle somebody's having maybe more fun than us possibly oh yeah i'd say so yeah they won bigger engine they win but you know what we're in the air so i doubt they can do that it's a good airplane, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's just the Sport Cub S2. I, I, I would, oh, there's beeping. Okay, all right. So you're gonna get beeping and then the motor kind of pulsates a little bit, wham, 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 like that, telling you that, hey, the battery is low. And I'll tell you what, we'll probably fly the other pack, but I'd say we're gonna fly it over on TikTok or Instagram or something like that. Go follow us there. That's right. When your battery gets low, this light will actually change to yellow. And if I throttle up, there's yellow. See it? Yep. And you can hear the motor, right? Yep. So that tells you it's low, and then you'll get beeping when it gets really low too. So all that telemetry is to say, hey, your battery is low, it's time to land. Think about landing, and I really like that. Um, four channels, guys, means one is throttle, one is elevator back here, I guess we'll say that's two. Three is rudder. Okay. <laughs> and four is your aileron control. And those are legit ailerons. They each have their own little motor down there actually they're little micro motor servos which is really cool you've got wheels which is awesome you can see where my paint is missing on mine and the batteries if you want more batteries and you should have more batteries are only six dollars each and you really can't beat that and generally you're going to fly a little bit longer than we did but what do we have abby like a seven or eight minute flight on that one yeah so that's not too bad an old, battery. old battery that's right three different flight modes all the way back it is super easy to fly uh, intermediate, we did not fly in in this video at all. Just limp. Safe is gonna only let you bank this far. Intermediate will let you bank this far. And just free flight, turning it completely off, you can do some rolls and loops. But you still have 
AS3X stabilization. Then you have your switch back here, which is going to auto level your plane Love every that time. Switch. It is the best. So, uh, very awesome, beginner friendly, easy to fly. If you're watching our channel or our, this video and, and you're thinking about getting into RC planes, this is one of the best. If you want to spend a little bit more, buy the Aero Scout Ready to Fly. And we'll have them both linked in the description box below. If you want to support our channel, you can click that link and buy it. It won't cost you a single extra penny, but it helps support our channel and our family. So it means a lot to us. And just for getting out, even though I'm extremely tired, uh, this is probably one of my favorite moments of the day. And for that, I thank God. Also just, you know, my daughter, my wife. <laughs> cringe, 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 cringe. Massive thanks to the big guy upstairs for letting us get in front of the camera and fly some RC planes and just sharing it with you guys. It's really awesome. And a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters too. We could not do our channel without you. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have another really cool small ready to fly. Actually, we keep talking about the Aeros got ready to fly and Abby did a great job maidening that one. We'll have that video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.